back out. Ooh. This might be a, a bailout. <laughs> it's a bit wild. Forecast not great, but got the best tent in the world, allegedly. We're going up there. Here comes the mirror man. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. Telling yourself, don't do it. Don't be crazy. If you're not experienced and your gear isn't the best, don't do this. Push myself here. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Freaking door. shelter here but you can see the rain going across oh yeah a steep bed I jump on the bus <laughs> I wonder if the bus goes to the top yeah, I'll go down that bottom road right to the mine it's a better idea being in the mine oh my goodness Ooh. Question your sanity sometimes, <laughs> but you know, I have got the option to bail out. That's why I come here. This is an easy bail out. This, if I have to, Just while the, oh, I can see it's there's a little break in the, the weather. It's absolutely horrendous. I'm gonna go for it though, because, well, why not? We go over there. It's foggy like. I remember the top of this hill is a bit wet sometimes. I think it might be today. Oh, look at this. I'm just about to, to be hit by big wind coming around up over here. Oh, so I'm at the top anyway. This is where experience pays off, right? I knew that was a southwesterly wind. Southwesterly is coming from this direction. And I knew there was a, a sheltered bit here. So I'll be pitching there. Albeit the ground's wet, but that's all right. The bathtub and the footprint's more than capable. That's the top. Let's have a look at the top. See if it's windy. Woo! All right. There's not much view, like. I'm not sure if this is the right place. There used to be a trig point there, didn't there? I'm sure there was. <laughs> I'll have to have a look on the map, because this all seems, this seems right. Over there in the gloom is Haystacks, High Style Ridge, Buttermere. Obviously you're not going to see any of that. It feels weird. It feels, it feels like I'm on the wrong hill, but it feels also like it's the right hill. Because this is all familiar. This, this bit I've sat here and had a couple of cans here. But there's, I'm sure there was a trig point there, like a little cairn, like a double cairn. I, th I think I'm on a different hill to what I think I was. <laughs> I'll find out. I will find out. Let's get this tent up though.
All right. Oh, it's a tent up. It's not too, it's not too bad at the minute. The delta's in. All six out. I'm missing one on there. That's the one that snapped. Yeah, that's the one that we robbed, cut with his pen knife. I know it. I know he did, man. So I'm gonna get in. I've got a towel in the back, so I'll dry everything off. I can find out where I am. <laughs> I can't believe. I thought it was Fleetwood Pike, right? I'm sure it is. It just looks dead familiar, but that that uh, the second trig point is gone. It's like a like a cairn. There's a, there's a, a cairn on the top there, and then there was a trig point in front of it. If the cloud would lift, I could see where I was. But I don't think it's going to. Anyway, come on, let's get in. Let's get in out of the wind and the cold. Whew! Oh, my God. Everything's wet. I'm wet. The, uh... Oh, my feet are wet. I've got no dry socks. I thought I'd put dry socks in the bag. Obviously didn't. Oh, God, that's better. No, nah, my feet are sore and my socks are wet. My boots are leaking. I need new boots. New winter boots. I've got my summer boots. But they're just not, uh, they're not up to this weather. Like. Oh, God send a towel. I always bring a towel. This is going to be a long night, mind. I'm just stuck in here. I've, uh, I've pitched the tent with the back into the wind, but the rain is hitting this side. So I'm getting uh so I've got to keep the door shut. Otherwise it'll just come in. Oh it's solid like. It's only, uh, well, it's only 20 to 4, and I've only just, I've only just got all my bloody stuff together. So I'm going to get my uh, mat up, sleeping mat, sleeping pad. I didn't bring the, uh, the waterproof cover for my bag, and everything's a little bit damp. That should be alright. Just have to put it with it. Look what I've got for my tea. Princess chicken curry. And that is the pouch that was missing. Let's have a look at this. This is the pouch of many things that was missing. Just dry that off. Can you believe it, eh? All the light lighters are in there. I've got a lighter in the pot now. In the pot is in there, lighter. But that was where I lost. I've had that for about 10 years. It's got everything in it. It's got all sorts in there. Spoons, knives, forks, lighters, milk, sugar, coffee, tea, everything. Got a few beers for later. Phone signal is sporadic on and off. Check out the stories on Instagram or the posts on Instagram. Um, that's about it for now, like. So I'm just going to get dried off and set up and then we'll come back and we'll have a bit natter. But for now, oh God, I tell you, that was hard work. I think I might get a bit of condensation here, like... <laughs> it's just everything's soaking wet. Everything's drenched. I mean, even my tea bags were soaked. Ah, oh, man. This is gonna be dripping this <laughs> tent. I think that's gonna be the least of my worries, though. Oh, nice cup of tea, anyway. In my fire maple mug. Good little fold away pot. Oh, 
Right, let's get this made. Bloody hell. Here we're going anyway. Oh, the wind hasn't started yet. I've, uh... Hold on. Hold on. Ah! Oh. That's it, that's it. Right. What was I going to say? I've absolutely forgot what I was going to say. This this sleeping mat, this thermo rest mat, is going down. It's got a. It's not staying up. I cannot believe it. That's the third one. That's gone back, right? That mat's going back. I'm going to email them and tell them just to keep it. It's a 220 pound mat, and it won't stay. That's the third one I've had. The first one, the chambers just broke. The laminate delaminated. Second one couldn't wouldn't stay up. Had a puncture. Couldn't find it. I tried to find it. Couldn't find it. So they sent a new one, that, they sent a new one the first time, and then they sent another new one the second time. This is the third one, and it's going down, and this is only, um, this is like the third time I've been out in it. All I did was, all I did was blow it up. I just blew it up, and then when I've gone to, when I've gone to sit on it, it's down. Unbelievable. Absolute rubbish, like. The Uberlite, Thermarest Uberlite. A piece of junk. Do not buy an Uberlite, Neo Air Uberlite, because the crap. It might be tiny and pack small and weigh nothing and be really wide and it was comfortable, but if it's not going to stay up, what's the point of having it? I'm devastated. That's gone back like, I'll tell them just to keep it. If they want it to send a replacement, I'm going to tell them I don't want it. I just don't want it. The, the customer service is second to none, but if it's just going to keep if they're just going to keep sending these mats and they're not going to work, what's the point? What's the point? That's ridiculous. <sighs> anyway, Craig Charles is on, so we'll get back to him, eh? Um, how do I turn this bloody thing off, man? I'll just edit all this out. Right, visibility. The visibility is down to... Uh, like, note, pretty much nothing. This is where this is where the problem is, right? When the wind really hits, it's going to hit that panel there. Whereas when I set the tent up, it was hitting that. Now that was solid, but when it's hitting that, it's a big area to hit. So, oh, I might be in for a rough night. It should take it, but it's going to rattle about. Oh, anyway. It's so cold, my penis has shrank down to seven inches. I mean, that's how cold it is. I'll probably edit that bit out. It's a bit much, isn't it? It's, it's so windy, the seaweed up here. Seaweed. But yeah, visibility, visibility is down to basically nothing if you want to walk off this hill tonight you're going to be walking into a whole lot of hurt a whole world of it oh i just came out just to check everything was all right pegs all still nice and solid i mean it is solid like look at that man that's not kind of me is it it's just that just that panel getting hit can't believe the wind's tricked us. It's turned. Right, anyway, we'll get back in. Back in. I had a shout out off Craig Charles. So hey, I'll put that in. <coughs> right, here we go. What was that? Craig. <coughs> Blink, yeah. Hi, Craig. Andy Wardle here again. Back out wild camping up a mountain in the lake, soaked. Getting hammered by 60 mile per hour winds and rain. Your show is the saviour. Keep me going. My new catchphrase is get busy living or get busy dying. And that's that. Kind regards, Andy. Shouldn't that be get busy living or get busy drying? Andy. <laughs> Hi, Craig. Right, everybody. Right, everybody, make the peeps. In it. Oh. Tell you what, right? It's been a, a wet, a wet night. Um, it's been a cold night, but I've had a good laugh. 
sat here and I've drank a few beers. Oh, just spilled beer everywhere. That's the last can I was noting that like. Um, so that's it. I didn't have me, um, I didn't have me Princess Curry. You know why? You know why I didn't have me Princess Curry? Because I had a massive breakfast in Weatherspoons, and then I had um, in the van this afternoon. I had to get sandwich, which I made cheese and pickle sandwich, this is, this is, which I had before, so I wasn't hungry. So I didn't have the curry. So that's okay. It doesn't matter. My sleeping mat's gone down, which is a pain in the ass. So that's going back. I've already mentioned that. Um, what else? There's loads of condensation in here because of the weather. And that's about right, really. So I'm going to go to bed. <coughs> and we're going to brace. We're going to brace for the wind. The wind's coming about, supposedly about 12 o'clock. Between 12 o'clock and um, tomorrow, 8 o'clock, 8.30, the sun comes up. So if I want to get off before 8.30, I'm going to have to be really careful and pick me way down because the visibility the, the visibility is zero zero right so what we're gonna do is get ourselves all comfortable and cozy and warm bastard um oh. uh -huh. And um, well, that's it. We'll see you in the morning. Morning. It's still nasty. Let's have a look. Oh, look at it, man. Lord. Lord have mercy. Rubbish. And the wind. Well, it's. The wind's wild, right? But I, that is sheltering me, that little rock outcrop there. I'm still getting hit, but it's not as bad as it would be. The mat went down, so that wasn't very comfortable. What a difference that makes. You know, you can tell I'm glad I had the silver foil mat. Because I, I could feel the cold coming through that, even because it's down. So definitely a sleeping mat does make a difference, eh? It's true. So I'm going to... um. Get packed up. I'm gonna get packed up and then I'm gonna be brave. And I'm gonna run down this hill. Listen, that's the rain. If the rain would, I wish the rain would stop because everything's just getting drenched. Ugh, that's bad about wind. Wind would have dragged the tent. <laughs> Aye, so. I didn't sleep very well, like. Look at the stairs, man. What a flipping, what a performance. Aye, uh, but you know, it's like I say, it's all part of the experience. Gotta get out there. This tent has been absolutely rock solid, mind. I just went out to have a look before, and it was blowing around, but it's just not moving. It's absolutely not moving. So I reckon this could take anything, this wind. Any 70, 70 mile an hour wind, easy. Right, I don't want to find out though, I want to get down. Right, let's get packed. Let's get busy with the fizzy. Right. I've got to get this away now. Over there, you can hear the wind is blowing really wild over there, like. So I'm glad I'm down here. Bad enough here. Oh, so I'll get this dropped and then we're off that way. Wish me luck. There we go. Sorted. Sorted. All packed, never left now. Right, let's have a look up here, right? This is where the wind's gone. This is where the wind's gone. Oh! That's, that's definitely a sheltered spot. Whew! I'm baffled about that cairn like. 
absolutely baffled. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. Right. We'll have a walk down. We'll see you halfway down or at the bottom or wherever. Oh, God. Danger, man. Never in danger. Don't, don't do that if you haven't got the right gear or you're not confident. Just don't do it. It's stupid. I. Ooh. I'll just take this opportunity to wish you all Merry Christmas and a good New Year. Oh man, I'll see you in the New Year. Because I'm going away over the holiday I do a driving like road van trip so there might be van videos on um, I might get a wild camp in depends on what, where I end up but for now from the fleet fleet with pike I think <laughs> the changed fleet with pike we'll catch you later Look at that rain driving, <laughs> driving rain. <sighs> Woo! There's no point. No, get busy living or get busy dying. As Noddy Holder said, 